Blessed be, I'm Lady Maris, and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. Now, I actually filmed this a little while ago, but I didn't realise that I had deleted it off my camera, so I'm now uh, going to do a bit of damage control and, and go through it again. But um, unfortunately, I have put it all together, so we'll just have to talk you through it. Now, what we've got here is a... Um, is another one of the hide in plain sight series where you have a, have a little bit of magic and uh, people can walk past it and, uh, unless they've got that uh, little bit of uh, you know, spider sense they, they wouldn't know um, that it's something witchy or not. Uh, so this is something that's a little bit like a, a potpourri um, and uh, for those of you that don't know what a potpourri is, it's something that your grandmother would probably or your, your mother would probably have. It's um, some herbs and, and a few flowers and different other bits and pieces that will um, smell nice in your home and, uh, and, look, and look kind of um, crafty in a uh, non-witchcraft kind of way. Now, you can see here that it's got quite a few different little bits and pieces and you can also see that it's, it's kind of glittery. So uh, let's, let's go through what we've got here. Now, as I said, this is the hide in plain sight. So I've put it into a little, little bowl and this will look quite nice on a, a, a side table or next to your bed or, or anywhere that you would like in a home and it wouldn't go um, noticed as being anything uh, overtly witchy. But everything that's in here is uh, covered, smothered in witchcraft. So what I've got here, let's, let's go a little bit closer again so that you can see. Um, we've got some cinnamon, bits of cinnamon so the cinnamon quills you can also use ground cinnamon if you like but the cinnamon cinnamon quills um, just um, broken up um, gives it a little bit of um, bit of substance so you can use both um, or either but I just like to use the the quills themselves um, because they they look nice and they smell quite nice and so the the cinnamon is to promote prosperity um, it's also good for calming an area. So for this little potpourri, as they would say, magical potpourri, you have um, different ideas as to what you want. Um, you could have a potpourri that is simply just for promoting happiness within a home. So all the herbs and bits and pieces that would go into this potpourri would be aligned to happiness, um, joy, um, communication, getting to um, understand people and so that you don't have that miscommunication and aggravation within a, within a home and everyone's loving and, and happy. Um, so you would have herbs that would be promotion for that. You could have one that is simply for protection. So all your herbs would be aligned to protecting uh, the home. Um, or you could have one that is for drawing in money or prosperity or, or whatever it is that you, you want to draw to you. And so that would be um, specific uh, herbs that would be um, just for drawing in prosperity. Or you could mix it up a little bit and have a little bit of uh, protection, uh, a little bit of prosperity and a little bit of happy joyous home all rolled into one. So as we said we have the cinnamon so that is again for prosperity but it's also for um, calmness and um, bringing making making sure that people are, are happy and calm. Um, if you if you everyone I think knows the smell of cinnamon. Cinnamon is something that people associate with um, a lot of the times Yule so this is the, a, a great time in the in the southern hemisphere because it is the time of Yule where it is a little bit colder and cinnamon um, you have like those um, those um, drinks with cinnamon in them um, at, that um, just remind you of family and home and, and um, happy times 
We also have some rose petals. So I've got some larger rose petals and I've also got some smaller rose petals. And so rose, obviously, um, it, it would be different for, for many people, but rose is about, um, about love. Um, it is about um, promotion of love within the family. Again, it is uh, uh, um, keeping the family together. Um, it can also be, um, depending on the colour, obviously, um, and the intent behind it is it could be also to drawing towards um, a more of a sexual type of love as opposed to a, a familial type of love. We also have, I'm not sure if I can find any, but we've got it in there. We've got some Angelica. Uh, so a little bit of Angelica root, which is great for exorcisms, um, healing, um, protection, and it's also, as the name would suggest, Angelica, angelic. So it is kind of um, bringing about the, the energy of the angels, um, angelic energy. We also have in there, again, I'm not even going to try and attempt to find any of this, but um, we have some cloves. So cloves are again for protection, um, they are also for um, a, a kind of um, psychic protection, a psychic shield. Um, they also smell wonderful, so again the, the potpourri not only is it functional in a magical way, but it also smells good. Uh, um, so again it's promoting that, um, that feel good, that feel good energy. Uh, we have uh, juniper berries in here. Let's see if I can find a juniper berry for you. They all, they all hide. There's a juniper berry there. So we've got some juniper berries. So juniper berries again are about protection. So uh, like any uh, good, um, good home, you can never be too protected but you don't want to be too protected to the point where you're paranoid but uh, what, what is it a good uh, offense is is better than a, a defense i think i got that wrong best defense is a good offense um so it's always good to be prepared we also have in here some bay leaves so they've been uh, crunched up and so you can then smell the uh the wonderful bay leaf smell and bay leaves are again good for protection they repel um, negative energies um, and they're good for um, uh, to promote good fortune within a home um, and um, they're also good for when you're doing say like a little bit of a your own house blessing so that you have uh, you know, um, once a season you would do do a little bit of a spruce and a, and, a, and a clean. It's good to have your bay leaves and these are um, not dried bay leaves but fresh bay leaves and you can put them in the corners of um, each room of your house and they form almost like a protective barrier. So they protect, they repel negative energy and but they're also at the same time promoting and um, promoting uh, good fortune and, and happiness. Uh, so you could then um, replace them um, every time you do one of these little um, cleansings. And like I said, you don't need to do them once a week. It's, that's a little bit of excessive. Um, that sort of thing is usually a seasonal thing. As the seasons change, you, you just uh, redo uh, your, your little bit of a, um, a spruce and a clean. As the energies change, you need just to get out the old energies and, and, and bring in the new. So we've got those bay leaves. Um, we've also got some allspice, and the allspice would be um, ground allspice and then just mixed around in the, uh, in the mixture. We've got blessed thistle. Um, so again, that's for, for blessings. It's also an anti-hex. So if you are um, kind of worried that you are being hexed by someone, this is a good little thing to, uh, it's kind of like a, like a barrier almost, um, um, kind of like um, I'm rubber, you're glue, uh, what, uh, what bounces off me sticks to you, that sort of thing. Um, I remember saying that when I was a little kid. <laughs> it's wonderful how the, uh, the little 
little things that you used to say as a kid, the little magical things uh, kind of ring true sometimes when you're, when you're doing a little spell. Um, nice little return to sender, I suppose. Uh, we've also got some calendula. Uh, so again, that's to, just to promote a bit of, bit of happiness, a bit of um, family, um, family joy, but also it's good for uh, bringing in some prosperity. We've got some uh, five fingers grass. So um, as you know, five fingers grass is, is, is basically about what you can do with your five fingers. So it's all of those, um, that, that prosperity of, of things that you can do with your hands. Um, we have some vervain, so that can attract some wealth. Um, and it's also good for enhancing um, your other herbs and your other, other magical herbs. Um, and it's also a good protection against magic. So again, if you uh, are worried about people sending you um, some bad juju, then uh, you can um, place that into your little, uh, your little um, potpourri. Now, you're only limited by your imagination um, and the intent behind your potpourri. But the idea is that it looks... Um, it looks inviting, it looks nice, um, and because this is also to do with um, a little bit of prosperity, um, as you can see there's uh, a little bit of um, glitter there. So we'll put this down, and what I've used there is this, if you can see it, this gold glitter. Now this is um, this is glitter that you would use for cake decoration. It is not the glitter that you would have um, use um, in a craft store and, and with glue and paper. This is uh, edible glitter. Uh, and I would advise using this sort of thing if you wanted to jazz up your, your candles when you're doing um, some candle magic and you want to put some added little bit of glitter on there just to give it that little bit extra um, pizzazz uh, when it comes to say a money drawing candle or, or something so you have some gold glitter so gold would obviously be for attracting wealth and this is this is like major wealth it's you know the the, the top tier wealth um, that you are you know you might as well go for go for gold as they say pardon the pun but um, it's adding that extra glitter so the more that you can put into something uh, the more energy that you can put into something the the more you're going to get out of it so that's the idea here not only does it look nice but it, it's also um, adding that little bit extra um, magical spice so you just need just need a little bit so you just a little bit of a Around, down, and again. I'll see. You can see it. I'm not sure if you can see how it glitters. So you have that, and then you can just mix it around. And as you're mixing all of these herbs, you have the intent behind your your magic, and you're mixing them around. Now you can also add um, oils to this. Um, and again, these would be oils uh, specific to your intent. So if it is something to do with drawing money, then you'd have a money drawing oil. Um, if it was a, a um, specifically for a protection, then you would have a protection oil. Um, so it, it stands to reason that you, you need to understand um, and have a, a very clear um, understanding of what it is that you want this to, to be. Um, and then you can start putting in those those bits and pieces. Um, so you can put those in there. You can add the little bit of glitter, so you can see how how magical this is starting to look with the glitter. Now that is fine as it is. You can you can mix it. You can charge it with your intent, uh, and then um, place it where it needs to go. Uh, and then what I would suggest is that every time you give it a pass, I would give it a little bit of a bit of a stir, a bit of a, a pushing in of the intent again. 
and uh, once a week I would then maybe anoint it again with some some oils and give it a little bit of a, a pass around and just to, to feed the uh, the magic so the more that you put in um, you keep feeding it you don't do it every five minutes you're walking up and you're feeding it and you're expecting the um, whatever it is especially if it's something to do with money and prosperity you're, you're pushing it around and looking at it and staring at it and then you know waiting and looking at the clock to find out when your check is going to arrive that's not quite how it works the uh, the more that you can forget about the spell the better but every now and again when you do pass it um, uh, just giving it a little bit of extra energy will be um, will be beneficial uh, you can also add different things to this and again we are only limited by our imagination so let's say that this one is um, for drawing money so you would put some um, coins now I got these three coins um, online I thought they were quite nice there it's American money so all my American um, guys who are watching this will know exactly what that is that is a um, sure that it's not going to be blurry hopefully that's not too blurry for you um, that is what is it is it a penny let's have a look Is it one is one cent a penny? I'm not sure, um, <laughs> um, but it is a um, it has it's a winged it's a winged liberty, and it is uh, said to be good for um, promoting prosperity. So three coins. So you would do it in in multiples of, of three so you could have three um, yeah, six nine seven is also a good number um, of when you're putting in coins now if you are um, like um, unlike me who just happened to see something online and wanted to buy it because it was cool um, if you are say from from Australia uh, you would put um, this would be about the same size as a five cent piece. You would put some five cent pieces in there, or you could put some um, uh, some different coins. So you could put two dollar coins. You could put a dollar coin, um, fifty cents, whatever you wanted to put in there. You would put some money in there um, to draw um, more money to. Uh, to yourself. You could also put in, um, which I would recommend, is a lodestone uh, so that again you are attracting um, and you're bringing in um, prosperity. So the lodestone and your and your coins um, um, feeding your potpourri um, slash uh, um, herb concoction <laughs> uh, and um, and then you could um, place some some more intent in there so you would have um, um, you could place more coins in there as you as you go but it is um, uh, a nice little thing and you can hide these coins underneath um, so that people don't see and go oh what's that why are there, there are coins in there um, so that if someone's just walking past again they're not going to to really be um, taken aback by uh, the overt witchiness uh, so this is a nice little little potpourri now originally I also had it in this little container which has a nice little picture of a hummingbird and uh, that's what that would go in so once you've you've finished your your spell, you could also place it. I think I'm going to make a mess here, but you could also place your potpourri into a purpose-built container, and none would be the wiser. Thank 
some more minutes. That's all right. Sometimes you've got to make a little bit of a mess to, uh, to get where you need to go. Especially if you're cooking. So mixing it up, all nice and glittery. Placing your little thing on the top and again, not out of place in anyone's house. And you would never know that you were looking at a piece of magic. Blessed be.